Hello everyone, uh, Tanak here. Welcome to episode 61 of Building My Industrial Empire in EVE Online. Let's start with what you want, the, the progress report. Uh, here you can see that uh, my the network of my character plus the corporations uh, is now 150 billion ISK. Uh, you're at the tracker you can see that there is a huge spike this week well a significant progression this week uh, if you want to look at the detail a big part of that spike is my own personal wealth uh, and anybody that was watching the beginning this is the explanation I'm gonna go into detail in a few seconds uh, the rest uh, there's a little progression on toy company and the rest is pretty much stable uh, the reason that is not uh, bigger than this this week uh, i'll explain to you when we get into the the battle report but as you can see we're still progressing we're still uh, we're we're seven billion richer than last week uh and well this this little beautiful little marshal is the reason because uh, I told you last week that I I got one from Project Discovery. Well, I built it, uh, and uh, the blue the the basically the component cost about one billion, uh, and the actual ship is worth like seven billion. So a big chunk of the progression is that. Uh, and for those of you who are already thinking, okay, well, you're going to lose that thing. And I, no, I'm not going to lose it because I'm not going to fly it. I'm not skilled enough to handle that type of ship right now. You say, as, uh, fly what you can, what you can afford to lose. Uh, well, even though I could probably afford to lose it, I don't want to lose it, and I'm I'm not skilled enough to know when to use it properly. So there is no point in me flying that marshal right now so right now it's more like a, a trophy that will stay in my hangar but i wanted to show it to you because i think it's a very sweet ship uh, so anyway that's the that's the big chunk of my spike in network this week uh, so what else uh, uh, okay hr Guns R Us Toy Company is now at 189 members. Again, I don't have any any intention of flying it short term. Uh, Toy Company uh, is now at 189 member. And if you look uh, at the, the the alliance here the according to z kill board the alliance is at 192 member but it should be a little bit higher than that i think something might not have updated yet uh, so uh, the toy company is at 189 uh, procurement is at 10 but it's not part of the alliance uh, and we are starting to have members so uh, great white expense joined last week Crab Cartel joined this week, and we had a we have a third company Endeavor uh, after, which is a third corp that is in the process of joining the alliance. I actually accepted their app. So uh, these are people that were uh, blue living in the pocket and that enjoyed the experience and are joining us as full time alliance member. So what we're doing this week uh, is. Uh, uh, basically ironing out the process of how we're going to work with multiple uh, corporation in the alliance we we went, we were mostly uh, a one like one corp alliance uh, and we were managed as a corp and now we got to implement the process to be managed as an alliance uh, like who can anchor what type of structure uh, how do you handle tax how do you so we're setting all that in place uh so it's been it's gonna be like the next the next week or two we need to iron out those process and i'm sure as any group that that has crossed that uh, step in their growth uh there will be some growing pain obviously uh 
we will work out the problem as they as they arise and we'll do our best to so that everybody's happy in the process but all in all it's a very positive step for us because uh, we can see that there is a bunch of uh, well you can see that corporation are interested in joining uh, the vampire let's say weapons of mass production so we for us it's a great step forward uh, other than that, uh, on the recruitment side, uh, I'm going to link it uh, below in the description. Uh, one of our member, uh, and I don't even know which one, uh, has created a, an incredible recruitment video based on some footage he had uh since he joined the corp and he did like a, he's putting my youtube skill to shame okay he's way better than me uh and uh because well as you see you're here for the content not the quality of my editing uh but he, he did a great job in editing and reflecting like the guns are us spirit uh, in this video so i highly suggest that you go watch it i'm going to link it uh, below uh, i'm not going to play it in my video so I'm just going to link it so you can go see it uh so aside from that okay uh, military what happened when i left you last week uh, we were still at war with absolute honor uh, we had killed two astro house uh, in xq uh, dash so we did remove all their structure in that system and they had an atenor in gtac m and an uh, fortizar in uh, q-5 left on saturday we shot that atenor uh, and there was no there were no fight it was just us shooting it and uh, flying dangerous who were also part of the of the shooting so uh, that atenor was destroyed uh, and then a little bit uh, the next day on uh, Sunday uh, was the fight for the Fort Azar. And uh, that one, there was a fight. Uh, a little bit before the battle, uh, Governor Lee uh, told me uh, that, okay, you, you won. Uh, if you leave, let us unanchor uh, that Fort Azar, uh, we will, uh, we will. I, I promise you, we will, uh, we will anchor it and and leave. Uh, but at that time, we were committed. We we had like pump up the troop. We had called the friends. Uh, so we did decide to take the fight anyway. Uh, it was too late for us to cancel the oper uh, the operation. So we decided to take the fight uh, and. I will show you the battle report. Uh, the battle report will speak for itself. Uh, so this is the Fort Azar that, uh, that was there and that basically didn't shoot back. Uh, this is our fleet. Uh, and there, I added two group because there was a lot of third partying on that fight. Some people that mostly help the Fortisar, and some people that mostly help kill the Fortisar, uh, or doing their own thing, but not necessarily helping us, helping that Fortisar live. So we started the fight uh, with uh, Raitaru that we had anchor uh, within uh, a, a thousand, uh, uh, within a thousand of that Fortisar where we had tether for our carriers so we did sign in a bunch of our carriers and some some dreads and we uh, we attacked with fighter and with our main serb fleet uh, the idea was that the carrier would have a tether service if there was any problem uh, and we also add the system Sino Jam to avoid uh, third partying dread. So initially that fight went was going well. I mean, we were shooting a structure that, that didn't shoot back. And at the beginning of the fight, a bunch of uh, 
a Loki, like a significant bunch of Loki uh, from dead terrorists arrived in system and started engaging our fleet. Uh, our, our initial loss around the fort weren't that bad, but we were not able to break them and they were shooting some of our, of our, of our fleet. Uh, I did die in that that engagement at some point. So we were getting alpha. So uh, we retreated to the fort and then another fleet came in, uh, which was more, uh, which was Drikovac. So that fleet was from uh, Stibog Clyde. Uh, uh, sorry guys, if I'm massacring your name. Uh, so they came in and they, they started attacking the fort. Dead terrorists weren't probably, uh, weren't, uh, I'm, I was, I was, I was not in my ship at that point because I was reshipping to come in. Uh, so fr from what I understood and from what I was told, one of our carrier got off tethered and it was engaged by the group from dead terrorists. And uh, we basically we fed the entire fleet trying to, to save the carrier. So uh, the carrier still died, and we lost a bunch of Serb. Uh, shit happened. <laughs> I mean, that's not, not much I can say. So our loss were significant in that battle. Uh, we fed pretty hard. So 12, 12 billion worth of ship uh, fed in there. Uh, and the group from dead terrorists left, uh, and uh, Stibug, uh, Tribug Clade, Tribug Clade, or however you pronounce it, some of the, if you know how to pronounce it, tell me. Uh, they started shooting the station, so they were there trying to shoot the station, and uh, Denial of Service also had bomber, and they they were also trying to shoot the station. And at that point, Scumlord arrived. Uh, Shadow Cartel was also with dead terrorists. At that point, Scumlord arrived and they started to try to save the, to save the station. Well, I don't, that's, they were shooting the people that were shooting the station to basically make them disengage and go after them so that the timer could keep running. Uh, in the, and at that point, for us, we were saying, okay, there's a bunch of Loki that left, but there's a bunch of uh, Drekovac, and those Drekovac were also shooting us if we were too close, from what we understood. So uh, we decided to refit the, reship and bomber and continue to try and push that structure down. So we were, we were hitting the structure with bomber and not staying, uh, trying to stay, avoid stay away from Scum Lord. So basically stay cloak as long as they were shooting. And when Scum Lord managed to pull the main group from uh, the Strybug to, to attack them, we were shooting, uh, we were done cloak and shoot the structure to, to pause the timer. Uh, eventually, the objective uh, was achieved and the fort is our die at a great cost for us. So, I mean, lessons learned, I guess. Uh, that mean, it, it's a battle. You make calls. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Then you get to live with the consequences. That's the the beauty of Eve. <laughs> and, and sometimes you get some lessons that are harder than other. I mean, it, it it is twelve billion, so it's not gonna it's not gonna break us. Uh, it would have been a lot more painful if that fort would have survived, though. <laughs> now that the fort was dead, so uh, all in all, I don't feel that bad about it. Uh, it happened. Uh, so what else can I say about uh, about this? Oh yeah, big important stuff though is after the fight, they looted the core, but they left, and we had control of the field. So we managed to pull back around six billion worth of salvage uh, from the battle. So if you take that six billion worth of loot. 
uh, it's making that number a lot less painful. Uh, and then what happened is that we we did have some member that opted out of SRP, uh, some member that offered to donate. I actually returned the donation because I don't want to be living off member that are, I, I don't want to bleed my member dry for, for the corp. So all in all, we're doing we're doing okay after that. So if, for us, it's like it's a week of growth for the corp that was not as high as it could have been, but still strategic objective uh, was achieved, and we cleared the uh, we cleared the space. And after that point, for us, we no longer have any. Uh, for us, we we talk with Governor Lee, and we're like okay this is over this is done and we're do we don't hold any grunge again absolute we they gave us like they were very persistent in their attempt to keep that space uh, so kudos to them and good fight and that the good war <laughs> because it was a long war a hard war for us uh, but we still managed to we managed to to come out with what we wanted which was to remove their presence from our system uh now that was on sunday the next three days were relatively calm uh, with some little uh silly lost on our side uh, because well our vigilance dropped down a little bit because we were no longer in what we considered a war so we did like we weren't less careful uh, we were less careful with uh with our own like watching local and everything so there was some stupid loss and even even i i'll show you right now even i got uh got careless at some point and lost a gila to plucky you can see in orange here plucky and their friends because well they not because we ate them, but because we like to see them flash orange when they come in local so we can get the fuck up. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, uh, yeah, well, I mean, again, it's a loss. My bad. I, I was looking at Discord at the same time as I was writing and I didn't check local. And even though I had one system warning and somebody wrote it in fleet, uh, I was just not paying it paying attention, and that's what happened when you don't pay attention. Uh, I'm not as angry about the the 200 disc, but when it happened, I was a little bit salty because I had five kill mark on that gila, so uh, I was a little bit sad. But hey, that's part of the game too. So anyway, you get to learn to live with <laughs> with the losses because there's not much you can do about it except uh, yeah, like what. One of my officer used to say, "Be less shit." <laughs> you just you become try to become better, and you try to avoid these uh, these stupid death. Uh, so even though the fight was over with uh, with uh, absolute, uh, we still have Stardust Tunion who are camping our war ca cloaky camper. They haven't stopped their cloaky campaign, uh, cloaky bomb bomber campaign. So they still have Cloaky Camper in our system, uh, and we're try we're starting to return the favor. So we're starting to camp their system. We can't right now. They're they're, they're lucky because they have a, a storm in their system, their their main system where we can't cloak. But we do take fight with them because well, basically the the thing in that game and from my experience, what I've learned is as long as you're just trying to hide and you're just not and you're not hitting back. The person doesn't have any reason to to stop because for them they're farming kills so the only way you can make somebody stop hitting you well is either you blue ball them enough that they get tired and they leave or and that doesn't always work because some people are persistent or you hurt them enough that they decide it's no longer worth uh, trying to hit you so against cloaky camper or our our strategy is basically you're gonna die take take some, the most bomber you can with you if you're gonna die 
And then we located their system and we're trying to hit them. And if we're finding some of them, we're scanning the local area. If we find some of them like doing uh, doing uh, escalation and stuff, we hit them. And that's one of the kill we did have. So we did manage to grab one of their Ishtar there uh, doing just that. He was running an escalation in one of our own systems. So we sh we we baited him and what well, we we did we scared him but we were camping all the gates so when he arrived we we shot him and that that's the and we're gonna hit them and hit them hard as hard as we can until they stop cloaky camping our system so that's that's the only way we have to stop and then a little bit later that was on on thursday what happened is uh well scum lord has been like taking the opposite side of us in many of the fight and that trying to save that station for us was uh, was something that we wanted to fight back so what we did is we they had one uh, one atenor uh, no one right arrow that was uh, low power without core so we ref that uh, and there's a timer uh, Sunday for that. And we shut down the pass that had its shield down. So we, we shut down the pass. Uh, so for us, it was just a way, basically, it's like the same same mentality as, as what I was explaining before, is we're not going to be punching back. We're at some point, you attack us, we're going to attack back that's the that's the only way we we you can make somebody stop so and that 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 is exactly what we're gonna do and we're gonna we're, we we have all intention of basically making them stop taking the field against us by taking the field against them until until the i mean we yeah we'll lose ship but we'll make them lose ship too so <laughs> that's that's the way we are gonna fight it uh so that's that's pretty much what's happening on the military side uh pure blind politic uh there's not it was a relatively calm week like on system exchange uh, like a uh, change of uh like so self change i would say uh Dragon Dynasty had a TCU here that Banderlog claimed back. Uh, here, the whole there was an old Ord uh, I hub that is being reinforced. So we'll see who comes out ahead. I, I'm guessing either I have mine or Bender. Uh, there was a huge fight here for a Tatara. That was anchored by I Hang to Misbehave. So there was a huge fight with Bender. Uh, I think Doc Worker was involved. I don't know if it was on the Bender side or the I Hang to Misbehave side. Uh, and basically, that fight here was about like a uh, hundred billion lost in ship from the battle report I saw. Uh, so uh, and the the Tatera was shot, was shot, but it was like an what looked like an even fight with the loss from Bender and from I him to misbehave. Uh, so that that was a good fight, but we weren't we weren't involved in that one directly. Uh, so for for us, that's that's about. Uh, that's about it. Uh, the way we're looking at foreign politics right now is basically uh, we're licking our wounds uh, for the loss that we had on that third fleet, and our goal is to to stay to to stay as is and fortified more in our area, uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the way I see uh, Sov is that. You need to have the population to to hold yourself. Uh, like okay, for us we have seven system. We got uh, if you look at the uh, the alliance level, we got like seventy two active member or more or less. Sometimes it goes to eighty, sometimes it 
it could rub down, but more or less 72 active member, it, which is, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, the biggest fleet, the biggest fleet we did form so far was 55 people in fleet from our own corp. So that's 55 uh, WAMP uh, member in fleet. Uh, so that is that gives us about uh, 10 member per system. We could probably go all the way to 20 without being overcrowded and without people uh, lacking place to uh, lacking anomaly to mine and lacking uh, uh, anomaly to rat. So we we can definitely support like at least twice the number of people in that system and there's no point in claiming more system un unless we have that manpower growth because the more system you have well the more you have to defend you're so you're i mean yeah you look you look big on the map but being big big on the map is not strength it's actually more of uh, i mean being too big on the map is more a weakness. You need to have enough space to support your member without being overcrowded. Good space, good moon and stuff, but you also don't want to be overstretched. So right now we're in a very comfortable position and we we don't want to grow uh, unless we until we have like a lot more member. So our our goal right now very like for the next next month I would say is to anchor our industrial our larger industrial structure uh, build our membership increase our strength build our build our member skills so that they can get in more people into uh, t2 cruiser get people that can get t2 guns t2 missiles uh, people that can get into cap so th so that that's uh, so we're, ba we're basically uh, crabbing strength not crabbing just to pad the wallet but crabbing strength to to increase our own power to to be to become well to be more uh, to be better defended before even considering uh, potential growth outside uh, that doesn't mean that we won't take fight we definitely will take fight because uh, you need to fight to become better at fighting. <laughs> That's simple as that. You, you can't learn to swim without getting wet. So we will take uh, we will take fight. Uh, I'm pretty sure that even if we don't want to fight, will come to us. So <laughs> I mean, it's not a question of <laughs> if; it's just a question of dosing how, how many. Uh, if we don't have enough. Uh, internally which i doubt uh we will take some <laughs> we will we will take for that time but i would eventually i mean we don't want to be in the hardcore structure bashing and tosising and uh, anything like that i mean well, obviously we will fight those if we if we get into this situation but that's not our goal our goal right now is more to to finish the war that we have started uh to get uh, Stardust, Stardust Union off our back, so we do plan to go hunt there until the Cloaky Camper uh, disappear and to continue to grow. So th that's about it for now. Uh, I I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if the if when if or when there is a video for the actual fight of the structure. Uh, I will. Go, I'm gonna link it uh, because I do believe in. Tra I, I mean, this whole series is ba based on transparency. So uh, even it, even when we get uh, pretty, uh, pre <laughs> even if when we feed hard, I will tell it because I don't see a point in. I mean, that's that's part of the growth uh, in the game you will learn from your those loss and probably you learn more from those loss than an, an easy victory so it is part of growing any there i don't think there's any big alliance that doesn't have at least one or two <laughs> defeat like that in their uh, in their corp history so 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy and uh, see you all next week. Bye bye.